All right. <clears throat> uh, first of all, I just want to give God the glory. And, and I know he doesn't care who wins, and it's heartbreaking for Aiken. They're a heck of a basketball team. Um, they're, they're, they're really, really good. It wouldn't be surprised me if any of these teams made it to the Elite Eight. There's just really balanced, and Aiken's right there at the top. And so, um, but I just, just give God the glory just for the opportunity for these to go out and compete. And it's just, been, uh, it's just been such a fun ride to beat these guys. I love them. I love battling with them. And we needed every second of a battle tonight, you know, and that could have gone either way. We could be on the other side of that heartbreak like Aiken is right now. And that's a tough place to be. We were just there a week ago in the conference championship, 82-81. We were just sitting in that same spot. And uh, you can hang your head or you can bounce back, and these boys bounce back, and there's a bunch of times they took a lead where it just we could have hung our heads and we didn't. We just fought, and, uh, and that's all you can ever ask of a team is you know, be great teammates and to keep fighting, and that's what I got. I got a group of guys that just fight, and they love each other, and, and it's uh, fun to coach. It seems like this is a game that the box score is not really going to tell the story. Like you talk about fighting back at the end. Was there ever a point in that second half where Aiken kept – holding that six to eight point lead where you got worried that you guys weren't going to be able to get back in it? Well, I don't know if I was worried. Um, I was hopeful, you know, <laughs> I was hopeful. I, I, you got to make some shots to get back in and you got to get some stops. And we gave up some size to them and, and we had to, we had to just really fight down low and you, and you don't know what's going to, going to happen in those moments. But I, I never give up on these guys. I wouldn't, I can't, um, because, because they don't. And so, Hey, you know, I mean, obviously you'd rather be up than down, but at the same time, I didn't think they would stop fighting. AJ, 40 minutes play for you. I mm -hmm. think we could tell at the end that it was starting to get to you maybe a little bit being tired, but what did you find or, or what was inside you that made you get that last gear to hit those big shots at the end of my way? Uh, yeah, I think just uh, leaning on my teammates. Um, we talked a lot about it, like in timeouts. Like I looked at Kendall and I looked at Spud and I was like, I need y'all. Like I just, it was that type of game, you know. Like I, um, I, I carry a big load on offense, but I also carry a big load on defense, and I, um, I took pride in that and like trying to stop, you know, slow their best players down. So that takes a toll over the course of the game. So I looked at my teammates down the stretch, and I was just like, I need y'all. Like I need y'all to make some plays. And Kendall, Spud, uh, Elise, like they all made huge plays. Chris, they all made huge plays down the stretch, and I just leaned on them tonight. Mm -hmm. Kendall, what goes into being What goes into maneuvering your team through a game like that, especially the second half, when it felt like it, you really just couldn't break it open until all of a sudden you guys hit back-to-back -back threes in front? I mean, just having confidence in myself throughout the whole game, even though I had four fouls, sat for 10 minutes, it doesn't matter to me. Once I go in there, I'm just working my butt off. And just like my teammates, like KJ said, like they're all dependent on me. We're all dependent on him. Like, it really doesn't matter. We all have each other's back. So, when I even step in the game, it's, it's easy to me. Coach, obviously, you guys play a good conference in the Conference Carolinas. You take on a Peach Belt team in USDA, and then you've got another one in Lander, two of the top teams in the league. What did you see from Lander earlier in there when you get ready for tomorrow? Oh, well, I mean, I think this time of year, who's not playing hard? Every team's playing hard. Every team's battling. You know, um, and so I don't expect anything less than tomorrow than, than a battle. And Lander is really talented. Um, they got guys that can shoot it at all five positions. Uh, they space the floor. They run great action. Umber does a great job. And, you know, really all of these coaches here just do a phenomenal job. And that said, it's going to be a lot of these types of games because there's so many. So I don't expect anything different tomorrow. Got to get hydrated. We got to get some rest because some of these guys carried a big load. Uh, but, you know, you're supposed to empty the tank this time of year. And we're going to empty it again one more time tomorrow. All right. Thank you, guys. <clears throat>